Yo, did y'all hear ARP and Verb in this spaces? Yo, no, bro, it was crazy. I don't even do spaces, but I heard some of the clips. ARP and Verb was on YouTube. Verb didn't want to cut the camera on. It was wilding. They didn't want to put no money on it. He didn't want to put no money on the floor. He was wilding on them about Will, saying that you ain't even going to be there. I will. But they was wilding, bro. This They have sold this fight. Now I see why they don't want to do no pay-per-view. Because, bro, they jumped in spaces today. Go to Rare Breed Entertainment's channel right now. I did the blog that I'm doing, but this needs to go in front of the blog. No diddy. But, yo, bro, it's wild. Like, y'all y'all niggas gotta see what happens. It's gonna rap it like that. Hit this area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So, all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
no retirement. I've seen that. Yo, do it. Vada, Vada tried to talk me and do that shit. Make 2024 the retirement run. Pull a Kobe or some shit. No, I never was on someone make it a big deal. Shout out to my nigga Vada. <laughs> listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. This nigga ain't got no sense. I was trying to help y'all niggas. Keep battle rap going. Keep it going. ARP retired. He told y'all I'm out of here. I got y'all got it. I'm gone, right? I tried to talk about the retirement. I said, yo, do Max out, do another one. He was like, absolutely not. <laughs> he, said, he said, fuck that. That's on y'all. Y'all got that, right? So then he's doing this card here, which is uh uh, a full circle joint, which is a Phil Will versus Verb is a phenomenal battle, and I'll just give you all my personal opinions. This shit is it's in a couple of days anyway. Me and SP spoke about it. It's on the channel. I give you my thoughts, and I'll tell you about that. Uh, it's a couple of things I'm gonna talk about. Here. I'm gonna put all my thoughts out here. I'll talk about the No Diddy. You know what I'm saying? All of the yo that has been. A, I'll talk. We'll get to that. Um, I'll talk to you about uh, Rock being <laughs> Tay Rock. Uh, Mason Cameron talking about him today. I got a couple things, man, you know what I'm saying? So let's just keep it um, all intact. So I tried to get y'all um, I tried to get y'all a pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? I did. I definitely did. Um, I definitely did. I hollered at ARP. He said no. He's like, he's not doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, why? He said, because of the bootlegs. You know what I'm saying? Um, He's like, yo, it's too many bootleg groups. The joints be, be bootlegged all the time. So he ain't really rocking with the with the VOD. You know? And I can't really blame him when people be bootlegging pay-per-views and there'd be a thousand people in there. You know what I'm saying? It'd be hundreds of people in there. You know what I mean? That's exactly where it'd be going to with the VOD. And then you'd be having media who be bootlegging the events too. I've been talk I talked about. Nigga! Told y'all about them niggas, but them the niggas y'all that talk about me. So anyway, uh, yeah, so he's like, he's not doing it, you know what I mean? So he's not going to do a VOD, but it will be released to, on paper, I mean, not pay-per-view, on YouTube. There'll be YouTube releases, but he got some really good battles on here, you know what I'm saying? He's got, uh, he's got Averb versus Ill Will. Obviously, Averb is a hell of a promoter. He's going to talk his shit. Sometimes, yo, yo, yesterday, he was literally, like, Spaces. Like, shout out to everybody that be in Spaces and all that. I don't have time. Like, I go in there every now and then. But I don't under, like the space culture is crazy. Like it's like every day they'll have like a fucking two hour meeting and shit. And then they'll come back in the afternoon and do it. No, I, I just, I don't, I, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm sorry, I'm not the nigga in the spaces. Cause you know what I'm saying? I got to work out, I go to the gym, I got family, I got other shit to do. So it's just not going to happen, right? Um, so Verb is a hell of a promoter. He been talking his shit. He been trolling Ill Will. Uh, Ill Will came out, dropped a video trolling him back. I ride up. Mighty Morphin Moose Madness salivating over circled suit with centaur serpents. Woo! Woo! Uh, Ill Will is coming off of a pretty bad performance versus uh, Pain, but I have said this in the past. Ill Will is the type of MC. If he got respect for you, if he thinks that you a problem, he can take it to a certain level. Ill Will was my performer of the night at uh, Max Out 3. So he can go crazy and he can beat damn near anyone. I've seen him do it before. So for me to say that Ill Will won't win, that's impossible. For me to say Verb won't win is crazy because the thing is, going into it, Verb has shown that he has the ability to promote talk shit every day, keep everybody enamored by the way he's promoting. He did it versus uh, A Ward, you know what I'm saying? He's done it time and time and time and time again. So he can, he can promote the way he does and then still battle at a high level. It's not many people that can do that, right? So, coming into it, Verb has kind of been like a, a high-level driving force at Rare Breed Entertainment because he set up damn near a whole card. He promoted it. He's doing his numbers. He battled Murder Mook over there. So, going into it, he's probably on the plus side. And the thing is, A Verb has battled and beat better competition than Ill Will. Has Ill Will battled and beat better competition then Averb has and the answer is no. Averb battled Murder Mook and he battled <laughs> uh, Loaded Lux in the same time frame, in like a one year span. So the the I can see where the Verb constituents are and I can see where the uh, Ill Will are. When it comes to rapping styles bar for bar, you know what I'm saying, they both have their sharp points. It's a great battle. We're gonna definitely see. Y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think. A lot of y'all gonna say Will, a lot of y'all gonna say Verb. I'm gonna say, I, I, I'm gonna see. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what, gra, 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 I'm gonna see the hell. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, Charlie Clips versus Jag. Uh, shout out to Charlie Clips. Shout out to Jag. 
Uh, I spoke to Charlie Clips a couple weeks ago after, uh, what battle was that? Uh, fucking, the nigga battle every week anyway. Whatever the last shit was. Chef Trezzy, I spoke to him after that. Um, and, you know, he, he, uh, he's been doing his thing, but quite frankly, in some of the battles that he's had, it's been like, he writes his, he could, you could, it damn near sounds like he's writing his raps while he's singing, you know what I'm saying? And Charlie Clips knows how I feel about <laughs> you talk about like, fight when you go, you go and fight with a day, yeah. nigga. You go, you go and fight. You go and fight with a day, nigga. You know what I'm saying? No diddy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Charlie Clips knows that, you know, I, I rock with what he does and I've always appreciated the shout outs and things like that that he said in the different blogger schemes and that. Oh, that was the fire one. Yeah, oh, he got Chef Trez with the when, when you start rapping, when you start rapping like that. I heard that response too. That was some fire response. Shout out to the niggas in the crowd. I heard that motherfucker. He said, I call, he said, SP, he start blacking like that. He said, Ace Bandage, he put it around him. When you start rapping, that was fire. I ain't gonna hold you. I was one of the, probably the best moment of volume. Volume was not. Mm -mm. So, um, coming into a battle versus Jag, I gotta go with Jag because Charlie Clips has just not been as consistent as he should be. And he battled QB Black Diamond on the roof, and that shit was horrible. You know what I'm saying? He's up there with the Deer Dyke and all this other stuff. So, going into this, I don't care. I gotta go with Jag. You know what I'm saying? Until so Clips showed me, like, Clips had a good performance versus C3, boom, cool. But he gotta beat Jag in front of I gotta see him beat Jag. Because Jag is not going to take no days off. Jag's not going to play with Charlie Clips. Charlie Clips is the one who I don't know, the anomaly, what I'm going to get. And I don't even have to run it through too much. But I got Jag 2-1, man. Clips going to have to show me. And if he win, he know how I tell him he did. You know what I'm saying? I rock with dude. You know what I'm saying? He got my number and everything. I might text him after this um, and tell him, don't come, don't, if you, if you, wherever it's at, if you don't come in there bullshit, no, I got time to be going all the way to L.A. for you to be up there fucking freestyling like, oh, you don't know me. I'm in L.A. I got the chopper. You be Kobe. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want clips. Stop fucking playing with me, my nigga. I don't want to hear that shit. Don't don't be fucking up there with that bullshit, nigga. You got two days, nigga. Right? You could you could start writing today and finish and be ready, man. I'm going to text you. Dude. I, I, swear, I, I got you, nigga. I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Charlie Clips. That's my brother. I fought with Charlie Clips, man. But I got I I I, I want to see the Charlie Clips that battled Tay Rock in the lobby and all that. I want to see the, the Charlie Clips that I know is one of the best MCs in the world. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see a reduced version of him. Um, Young Ill versus the Saga. Shout out to Young Ill, man. I seen him promote the battle earlier today. He posted it on his Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I definitely jumped in the comments and just you know let him know. You know we on the, it's going it's going to happen. Let's see what's happening. You know what I mean? So shout out to him. I'm definitely excited to see what he does. He had a, a pretty good battle versus uh, Big K. The saga is coming over from, you know, being on URL, not being on URL. I don't know what the hell was going on with him. But they, he never really got the battles over there that he should. I mean, his career got to a certain point. And when you level out, I'm going to just call it leveling out. Very few MCs that level out ever move on past that. When they got you to a certain point where this is your apex, whether it be a civil war or whether it be a fucking mid middle of the road card, you usually never level up. And the people that are going to level up usually do it early in their careers. You know what I'm saying? Like they make the strides and steps and you see them like, okay, get you got it. Boom, 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 boom. We see where he's going. Uh, easy to block captain. Boom, 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 boom. We see where he's going. Twerk even. Boom, 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 boom. Up and down, up and down. On, 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 on. Rick the, Rick the scale. Rick the, Rick the, Rick the, Rick. That was the remix, nigga, on the Rick the scale. He been moving up and down. But... We've seen the potential, you know what I'm saying? With Saga, he's had some potential. He's had some good battles, you know what I'm saying? He had a good battle versus uh, Tink the Demon, you know what I'm saying? He had some good battles in his PGs. He had a good battle versus Ryder. I can name about some good joints that he had. The B-Dot on the roof, that's the best battle on the roof ever. But the one thing that has been missing with the Saga is consistency, being able to do something for... See, that's the thing that separates the elite from everybody else, you know what I'm saying? The elite are able to do something in a repetitive nature for an extended amount of time. You know what I mean? Being able to, not being able to win one battle, then have a debatable, then have two losses, then have a debatable, then lose, then win. It, that, that, that's no consistency in that. Easy to block Captain took off so quickly because he was able to win at a consistent level. I'll talk some trenches shit later too, you know what I'm saying? Everything that's on my mind, you know what I'm saying? I just let out, you know, pause. No diddy. 
Um, but I've been busy. That's the reason why I've been blogging like every single day and all of that. My 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 whole everything has been super busy. And um, we'll see. So I, I, I'm gonna tell you all about everything else in one second. So Young L versus Saga. <sighs> Saga probably wants it more because you got to think. Young Ill is the Saga's toughest, you know what I'm saying, big matchup so far, like he's had in a while. He ain't got nobody of Young Ill stature. Young Ill's a Hall of Famer, regardless of what that went on, especially in St. Louis. So, you know, uh, Young Ill, I could see him, you know, some jokes he bring, but I think Saga at this point, he's trying to really find his footing in some kind of league and in an RBE. So, um, I uh, you know, that's gonna be a good one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I could two one that. I'll let you know, since it ain't gonna be on um pay-per-view, I'll let you know what happened. You might as well you might as well come back here. I got you. Um Cali versus Random Smooth. Shout out to Cali Smooth. We just had a battle with Sharon. They sent it to me. I like I said, I've been so busy, I haven't seen no fucking battles. Um I'll check that out. But uh, I don't know who random is. I'll go see if I can find a random battle. I'll be honest with you, I don't know. I, I mean maybe he's got some work that I haven't seen. I'm sorry. I I Random, so I don't know who wins that. Um, the <laughs> no Diddy, bro. I've been getting hit up so many times, bro. I just made a tweet. Billy got it. Going to do is go on Instagram and come back at me and give me that direct platform, that direct response. He's not going to do that. That's going to make me bigger. No Diddy. <laughs> Listen, th bro. I was watching an interview, right? The interview with uh, Quilly Mills, Quilly and uh, DJ Academics. Academics is talking to him and he's interviewing him and he keeps saying everything like, I put my guys in position, no diddy. I kept, he kept saying it. I thought it was funny. I was like, yo, this is hilarious. So I tweeted, instead of pause, I was gonna write the no H-O, the no home mills. I was gonna say that too, but I didn't. I'm glad I didn't say it because it went super viral. If I had put that word in there, they'd be trying to get me out of here. Fever, please, get out of here. Get out of here, man, shit, you know what I'm saying? Get in Ibu. I'm glad I didn't do that. I thought about it, you know what I'm saying? Because when you, when you tweet something, before you press send, they say you think about it. So I, I be thinking about it, right? So I put, instead of pause, people are saying, no Diddy, I'm dead. Bro, I woke up to 5 million impressions. I was on Media Takeout, The Shade Room, Bossip, This Is 50, Academic. He came on, he came on off the record and he, he termed it. He said, instead of dudes saying pause or no homo, the new street slang is no diddy. Yeah, that is, that is the new thing. Feel me? I put him in position, no diddy. And I get him up there. The young boys love me. I put him in position, no diddy. And I get, <laughs> get him up there. The young boys love me. I put him in position, no diddy. And I get him up there. The young boys love me. I put him in position, no diddy. And I get him up there. The young boys love me. I put him in position, no diddy. Every freaking every site you could think of, right? And I'm getting hit up from everywhere. And I'm like, and this is not the first time I went viral. And I didn't seek to, because I just talk to the people on my Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I tweet shit all the time. I be talking about shit. This is what I do. I don't care. I talk about everything. I don't give a fuck. Basketball, family, games, everything. This one just happened to go up. And then he did he ran from, <laughs> And then he ran from the fucking uh from the Fed, ran from the feds, it made it even crazy. It was just boom, 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 boom. So leagues, y'all hit me up. My price is not the same, I'm sorry. I can tell you I've been on all these sites at one time and I didn't embarrass myself to get there. We gotta up it. Everybody wants to help, everybody wants to push their league, everybody wants to push their artists, but nobody wants to pay no real money, you know what I'm saying? Like, so for me, I gotta, you know, if we gonna make do these things and be around and shit like that, it's gotta be conducive for both parties because right at this point, I could really stay home, recap everything that comes out and make more than I make actually being at a lot of these places and SP too. So I, a lot of people have been reaching out. But uh, with the whole No Diddy thing, I just tweeted it, bro. I literally just tweeted it and that shit just, phew, it's gone. Out of here. And I've, I've said it on a couple different things, you know what I'm saying, that I did not create it. I'm not looking for no trademark. I ain't looking for no merch. I ain't looking for none of that. He made it a hot line. I made it a hot song. I just put it on Twitter and it went everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. But I heard Sunder ran and now he in the Bermuda or some shit. He done left his family. The other downfall of Bad Boy and Puff Daddy is going to be the wildest story ever. We'll talk about that a little bit more. I don't really do a lot of entertainment. That's crazy. I'm not even an entertainment blogger or want to do entertainment. It's never not even my lane. So back to battle rap. Um, I seen a couple cars coming out. I did see Mace, Cam and Mace 
talking about Tay Rock. It was too close to be Paul swinging and missing. You know how nigga always bout to fight. Who who is a battle rapper like that? Tay Rock. You know a nigga always bout to fight. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Tay Rock. <laughs> Tay Rock, my nigga. Tay I like Rock. Tay Rock. Tay Rock, my yeah, man. Yeah, Tay Rock. Gonna have something to say about this. Yeah, he got made yeah, Tay Rock out something. Because Tay, out first Tay of all, Rock. first of all, murder. <laughs> Tay Rock got gun balls. Don't play with him, nigga. He ain't about that fight. Nigga. Ain't he the gun ball king or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, those niggas said don't Shout confuse out. him. Shout out to our nigga Tay Rock. He know I'm just playing with him. We were talking about the almost fight in the NBA that happened. And then they started talking about, uh, you know, almost fighting and yada, yada, yada. And they brought up Tay Rock and, you know, Cam and Mace was joking about it and things like that. And here's the thing, right? I rock with Rock, you know what I mean? Forever, you know, so so much to the point that niggas thought I was actually cave gang. I've never been a member of a battle rap fucking crew. But this is things that people used to say, you know what I'm saying? I've been hated since the eighth grade, so I'm used to it. But um I told them in the blog, you know what I'm saying? When I made the blog before, I said, bro, like, yo, this this is shit that be happening in these battles, like, bro, hey, it looks crazy. I said, because it takes away from the footage. This is what I said. And now you see bigger stars on bigger platforms are talking about it. Y'all might not like what the battle rap bloggers say, but the people that's above us, they're going to say whatever they want. They don't care. Like, they're going to they gonna talk about you in whatever way possible. So I always say, you know what I'm saying, shout out to him and everything that he's got going on. But, yeah, he was definitely the, uh, the butt of their joke today. But the riot, shout out to the riot, the riot, the riot, the riot that they got going on. Man. Riot got a car going down, you know what I'm saying. They got Tay Rock versus. <laughs> they got my boy Tay Rock versus A. Ward. And they also released Geechee Gotti versus Loso. Two very interesting battles. I'm really interested in both of these. Now, when you got two battles like this, that's that's those are two battles that could sell a card. I'm in. I, I, I would I would buy into this card. You know what I'm saying? I've seen other battles on the card that are that are pretty dope too, and we'll talk me SP, et cetera, et cetera. But I want to talk about the Loso versus Geechee Gotti. I'm really interested in this battle because Loso's a dope MC. Um, They'll also be doing the PI tour and things like that. He'd be moving through the, through different states and doing his thing. I did go see him when they were in Philly. And I always support like battle rap guys. Like battle rap guys, if they're around or they're doing certain things in the area and I can get to where their shows and stuff, I definitely show up. So I was there, you know what I'm saying? I seen what he does. Uh, quite obviously, Geechee Guy is a high level MC. We already know what he can do. You know, we know the jokes, we know the, the, the bars, the stage presence. Uh, I think that he's gonna take Lo so serious. So, <laughs> with that being said, I'd probably be going Geechee Gotti's way in this battle because Loso, while dope, don't get it twisted, um, Ward could probably tell you, give you all the game. He's debatably beat Geechee Gotti twice. He definitely beat him once, debatably twice. I'm just saying. Keep shooting. Uh, 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 uh. Keep shooting, Ward. Keep shooting. I'm just saying. He got rock on the card. Now, Tay Rock versus A Ward. Now, I'm going to go back to... Uh, Loso versus uh, Geechee Gotti real quick. Uh, it's probably going to be one of their headliners. Geechee Gotti's not going to play around on the riot because his brand is is what's driving this, the riot. You know what I mean? So, now here's the deal. And I tell people all the time, these battlers got to realize, when y'all jump on these cards, everything counts. Like, y'all be jumping on these cards and like how Chess be jumping on cards and choking and all that other shit. Y'all got to realize that when y'all on these cards, everything is involved. The money, the promotion, the cameraman, the after effect, the VOD. You go up there choking, stumbling and fumbling through the battle and nigga got bad work. You can't sell that. How I'ma sell a VOD when one nigga don't even got all their reps? Ain't nobody buying that. Niggas, first of all, niggas is ready to bootleg everything. Niggas be ready to bootleg everything anyway. So they ready to bootleg everything anyway. How you gonna get your how you gonna get your shot off if you up there choking and stumbling, my nigga? You'll never get to it. I promise you, it'll never happen. Because too many people want to bootleg y'all niggas anyway. Because nobody wants to pay 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars. Now the people that do pay that money don't want to pay for a bad product. You dig me? Alright now, let's keep it moving. But we don't have them issues with uh with A Ward, you know what I'm saying? He's always known to deliver, and Tay Rock has been delivering as of late. Uh he's been delivering for a long time consistently, but I'm saying as of lately. Every single week, he can go battle for battle for battle for battle for battle. He just skip through the Battle Academy, shoom, skip through uh, Black Eyes Cartel, shoom, boom, boom, boom. He could just keep doing that. So um, I think that that's going to be another dope joint, you know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of dope joints. The Riot's card, like I said, when I seen the full release of it, it's pretty dope. It's going down in Orlando. So we'll see uh, what goes down with that. But that is definitely a joint I'm interested in, and I will, uh, I will be checking it out. Um, 
What else is going on out here? Oh, ARP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I seen you talking about the retirement and all of that. That's cool, man. I get it, man. Listen, y'all, y'all niggas could leave me the black card, leave me the battles. I can set up my own battles and shit, and I can do the pay per view too. You know what I'm saying? I get SP, we do the pay per views and shit, and we can still get them joints done. You might be done, but battle rap is not done. You know what I'm saying? We, <laughs> you got yours already. Can I get mine? Like, can, can I get mine? Like, can I get a, can I get a couple million so I can go get it out of the way? I want to get mine too. So you know what I'm saying? As long as we are around, we're gonna keep pushing battle rap, the battle rap culture, and everything that goes on with it. Uh, shout out to everybody who's reached out, everybody who's hit me up. Uh, everybody's retweeted and keep pushing the agenda of what we got going on as far as in battle rap uh, And everybody who hit me up about the, 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 the media shit, the fucking no diddy and all of that, that's cool too But I didn't create it, you know what I'm saying? But um, shout out to all the bricks and everybody who put in work, you know what I'm saying? Last weekend, it was a lot of dope battles I definitely, I want some of y'all opinions, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all to jump in the comments if you supported the VOD And tell me who did you like, who did you think was fire, or whatever the case may be But other than that, man, you know what I'm saying? I can take a sip of this water and go get ready to uh, do some other things with my day. Shout out to y'all, gang, 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 and don't bang it right now. What the fuck going on? Ha! I'm going, going, back, back. Rapping like that in this area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So, all oh, y'all wanna know what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked.